Oh, let's go on the move. And is it possible that they could have picked up a disease from the lion, oh, from the buffalo? Sorry, I'm sorry. To... And it is, it is possible. Unlike, yeah, I mean, most of the lions here will probably test positive for bovine tuberculosis, which they've, or now feline tuberculosis, TB, which they've picked up. Oh, there's another male's just arrived. There could be a fight here. I'm just going to try to get us into the right spot. Now, if they're after, there we go. Oh, no, it's going to be brotherly love till one of them gets too close to the ladies. There we go. I can't see which Birmingham... There we go. Just as I predicted, as soon as the one tried to get too close to the ladies, brotherly love turned into a brotherly smack. Look at this, he's chasing him. Let's get him a bit closer. Listen to this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to find a way to get back to where those males are. Uh, I don't think... Oh, the lionesses are running. There's actually going to be more of a fight. Hold on. Where are we? I'm going to get through here, Brian. Look, look, look. Just put, they're, they're fighting. The lionesses joined and beating up the male. Okay, we've got to get in there, guys. We've got to get in there. Hold on. the cubs and the let me just get forward again a little bit wow I'm shaking <laughs> that was incredible oh i can't even drive That was absolutely in incredible. You saw the unbelievable power. And now we know why. Mfumo is called the authority. And I didn't even get to see what other Birmingham boy that was. I don't know where he's gone. He's there. He's still here. We might get some roaring. I'm speechless. <laughs> As I said, you never know what happens out here in the African bush. While you were gone, another male lion arrived in here and we just witnessed a massive fight. I mean, an absolutely massive fight. It was insane. The lionesses got in. There was just absolute, uh, I don't need, I'm speechless. I mean, look at this. And I, I, right next to us here, I'm just gonna lean out the car. The lions are over there. But during that fight, the other male who's somewhere
arm there lost a bit of his mane. And now a lot of you probably been wondering, what is a male lion's mane for? Well, if you ever see anything like that, it's for protection. Now, don't worry, the lions are close, but I am safe. Look at that. Male lion mane that has been dislodged during the fight. Isn't that absolutely incredible? Um, I'm just too speechless, but it seems like we're gonna be lucky enough to show you exactly what transpired. So let's go across to James so he can do that. <laughs> that was quite something, I have to tell you. Now, I know some of you missed that. We're going to take a look at the clip and just have a look at how angry those lions and then the lionesses got. That was the most astonishing thing. Now, I think what's happened there, and Brent will either disagree or agree with me, but I think one of those females is in estrus. That, of course, means heat, and so there's a huge amount of competition between the brothers. Let's head straight back to Brent and find out what he thinks went on there. How absolutely unbelievable is that? There is Mfumo, the authority, the victor. I didn't even get a chance to see what other Birmingham male was. So. There's a perfect example. Now the females and the cubs, they're like, well, we want to get out of here. Well, there's still some of them hanging about, but it's quite likely that they're going to move now. I can't see where the other Birmingham boy is. Oh. Be careful, cubby. Now, very often there's a cub right there. After a fight like that, the male lion's blood is up. There we go, the lioness is going to charge in. She almost looked like she was going to charge in to try to keep them away from the cubs. So when they blood's up, they've just been in a fight. A, a cub trying to be affectionate or whatnot might just get in the wrong position. And that's possibly what could have happened to that injured cub unit. Oh no, but it looks like I'm just going to try to get a bit lower. Get in there a bit more. And I also want to go see where the other males got to. See if he picked up any new injuries. But that wasn't, how crazy was that? That was happening right in front of us. That was, you saw that massive power of a male lion. And now we've even got some souvenirs. It's not very nice smelling. And it's, I'm now definitely going to have to disinfect my hands after picking that up because it's very, very smelly. There we go. Now, that incredible fight. Uh, Laura in New Mexico is wondering why they would fight if they're coalition members. Laura, more than likely there's a female who's in estrus or about to come into estrus that Mfumo, the authority, wants to mate with. So he will fight with his other coalition members to full mating rights. Uh, the other time they will fight is over food. Uh, he keeps watching to see where that other male is. And it was amazing. As I said, I said in the beginning, well, this could go two ways. I think and most likely they're going to fight. And, uh, oh, careful, Cubby. Okay, so it could go two ways. You see they greeted each other friendly in the beginning. Then soon as that uh, other male, I, I, I'm not sure who it was. Brian, did you get a view? I'm not sure which of the Birmingham was. Was it Tinyo? Was it Nena? Oh, was it Tsuko? I don't know. But all I know is Mfumo, the authority, is definitely aptly named. He asserted his authority in that situation. Now, what's interesting was the females. They, they were hitting them both. So they didn't want either of these male lions fighting this close to the cubs. And there we go, another perfect sign of the patience game playing off. We've waited it out with these lines and boy were we treated. <laughs> 